Hi, good morning and welcome to today's Products in Focus. The US 30 retreated there late on Friday afternoon after non-farm payrolls just managed to eke out a slightly better than estimate figure, but it wasn't enough to help support the uh, the markets who were expecting a slightly um, more exceptional figure that came out. So I think the, the um, estimate was about 240, it came in at 252, 254. Markets initially had, had a little move to the upside, but then came off trading below the potential support at 17,738. We've had a little bounce this morning across most global equity markets, but it feels uh, like it could be relatively short-lived as we don't have any other major economic data due out until later on in the week. So that's where we stand for the US 30. UK 100, uh, again, you know, that similar that similar pattern, that, that sell-off, it's actually, it opened higher, but is already moving into negative territory for the day. Uh, we're trading in between two moving averages right here, the other technical indicators are quite neutral. This isn't looking too good for the UK 100 in the short term. We've got potential resistance at 65.89. Um, the markets are, as I said, are slightly uh, higher than when they closed on Friday, but um, it does look like there is downwards pressure happening. And we are still seeing a, a sell-off in crude oil, um, with Goldman Sachs actually giving new price targets for Brent and West Texas around about 40 and 41 dollars respectively so that's a little bit lower than where we are right now so um that is adding extra weight considering most of these markets are quite heavily energy focused as well so looking at japan 225 it got hit a little bit as well um dollar yen we've been seeing a lot of um, safe haven buying gold has spiked up to its highest level in multiple months uh, the yen has wrestled control from the us dollar again after that I don't want to use the word disappointing non-farm payrolls figure, but that that is how the market is kind of taken it. The dollar has kind of rolled over a little bit. We've seen um, a decent uh, spike in cable and euro dollar, uh, but we'll have to see if that continues on throughout the rest of the week. So that's where we stand for Japan two to five, the middle of two. Uh, ranges with 16392 being the next potential support level. Most other technical indicators are neutral, with the MACD crossing the zero line, uh, which is the which which is a negative uh, factor on there. And we've almost got a death cross there on the moving averages on Japan to five to be wary of. So, looking at, um, at dollar yen, you can see that we're on the wrong side of potential support at 119. We got to be eyeing up 117 spot 36 just now. Maybe capped by that 21 period SME, maybe supported by the 55 period SME, with the other technicals firmly neutral right now, indicative of the fact that there could be further downside right here, purely from a technical perspective. Then moving on to West Texas crude, um, it's almost at its low for uh, the most recent low. If it gets to 46.68, that would be um, the low that we actually reached there on the 7th of Jan. Uh, longer term potential support on uh, West Texas still sits at $35.30. Uh, and that was, that is a multi multi year low of a five and a half year low. Uh, and if we move on to gold, you'll be able to see that the gold has been moving in the right direction. Uh, treasuries uh, are helping to contribute to that after non-farm payrolls. We've got a slight dozy formation right now. We were as high as 1231. Uh, there seems to be a little bit of reluctance to push on higher. Um, especially when uh, looking at the other markets, the dollar has staged a, a very modest bounce this morning. Um, obviously, a weaker dollar would help gold. If uh, the dollar is bouncing back, that kind of adds a bit of a capital to gold. But longer term potential resistance on gold could sit around about 1242. So then moving on to euro dollar, uh, euro dollar, we've got this retrace move that we quite like, this retracement back up to one spot 1872. Uh, retracements are very useful if you do have a longer term negative view on euro dollar, as if that level um, remains intact. People do use it uh, as a springboard to then we challenge one spot 1642. Um, if it breaks above that, however, you'll be looking at one spot 2047. Other technicals are obviously still massively oversold. Um, well, it's all about the price action, but certainly we do seem to be bouncing nicely at 118.72, um, but we've not managed to push that firmly into negative territory uh, to, to be quite confident that momentum is going to continue. But from a technical analysis perspective, that does look quite interesting. Looking at the UK 100, you can see that our Friday there was particularly good, and we have retreated slightly. I've actually seen on the intraday charts there that cable annual dollar just very recently in the last hour at the time of recording of, of, of this video have started to, uh, to, to to kind of lose that momentum. The dollar's trying to wrestle control there a little bit as well. Um, that could be a bearish engulfing pattern should that continue on towards the end of today's session, but to 
be honest, we have only just started today. And there is a big absence of economic data. As you can see there today, there's nothing really that exciting. Let's fast forward onto Tuesday, you've got a Chinese trade balance, so more UK data, uh, PPI data and CPI. So we've got inflationary data, which people will, will be looking at quite closely. And then you've got even the RPI as well. So quite a lot of UK data due at 9.30 a.m. tomorrow. And if we go on to Wednesday, we've got Eurozone industrial production and US retail sales followed by, of course, crude oil Wednesday. You've got the petroleum status report, which will be very, very interesting for West Texas. And we've even seen um, the West Texas oil contract go into Katango, uh, which is when you've got the, um, the near-term delivery being substantially cheaper than the three-month forward rate contract. So there are going to be a lot of people potentially looking to buy up a lot of physical oil in the short term to, to buy it today, to store it for the longer term and make money uh, when it comes to that, that, that three month expiry time. So um, maybe we might be reaching a little bit of a floor on West Texas crude over the next couple of months if people start to use a lot of that spare um, inventory capabilities that the US has to take advantage of that uh, um, uh situation right now. More of a complex uh, financial trade on there uh, but it's something that uh, a lot of physical oil traders may be looking at when you're in this particular situation. So that'll be interesting to see if people start buying up crude at these levels or if they're going to wait until later on. So anyway, keep an eye on the chart forum. You'll get lots of updates from our global analyst team. Make insights part of the layout going forward. And join me again tomorrow to find out what happened next.